Welcome to These Are the Blades of Our Lives, the skating show where I talk to you about skating like it is drama for your mama. On today's episode, just wanted to make a recap video, a short recap video for the 2021 Grand Premiere d'Italie. I have feelings. I have feelings about this event. Well, mostly the ladies' discipline. But starting off with um, the ice dance, um, Gabriella Papadakis and Guillaume Cizeron were whackingly beautiful. This program is so smooth and effortless that by the time they finish, you just want more. And they just look so calm, so in the zone, like they have their purpose and they're focused on it. Um, then we had like Madison Hubble and Zachary Donahue, incredibly talented skaters with an incredibly underwhelming sh um, rhythm dance. This team is so special. They have such unique strengths, yet they insist on picking materials that makes them basic. I don't understand why. Um, but they were in second place. And then we have Alexandra Stefanova and Ivan Buchan. I love this team. I love this team. I don't love this rhythm dance. I really wanted them to come out with materials that I could be like, yes, this should be ahead of the Americans. Unfortunately, this rhythm dance is not it. Oh, this, this, oh, this was not it. I still have, have hope for them in the free dance. I really hope they have like a beautiful free dance or a sexy free dance. Just something that's uniquely theirs. Then my little team of Caroline Green and Michael Parson, this young team is really progressing along. I feel like the next four years, they definitely will be amongst the, the leaders. And you who never know, they may just manage to find themselves on that U.S. team for the Olympics. We're going to have to wait and see. Another team that I really like was Shui, um, Shui Yan, um, Ye Wang and Zai Yu Lu. I really wanted to like the material for this team because I liked them so much last season, yet I was not impressed by their material. I feel about Elvis Presley for skating the same way I feel about Michael Jackson for skating. Why? There's so many other musical options. Why? I just don't think they play well for figure skating. Um, but anyhow, the ice dance played out more or less um, the way I imagined it would be. Then the men, the men were a complete surprise. A surprise in a good way and some in not such a good way. Oh my God, Yuma Akagiyama, that poor kid just imploded under the pressure. I feel like this can be a great learning lesson for him or it could be a mental roadblock. Obviously, something was off in the short program. Hopefully, he'll be able to get it back together by the time the long comes around. Today was not a good day for the Russian men. All the Russian men struggle. Poor Peter Gumenik took two fall, while the jump seemed to have just completely abandoned Dmitry Aliyev. The only Russian male that was somewhat on his game was Mikhail Kolyada, who landed a really beautiful um, quad sal triple toe, and he somehow managed to keep, you know, in the conversation. However, I imagine coming into this competition, he thought he would be on top of the lead on top of the leaderboard. However, I'm not all that concerned with Kuliada only because I feel like his main focus should be Russian nationals and European. It would be great if he makes the Grand Prix final and if he medals at the Grand Prix, but I feel like pacing and winning nationals and European is more important for him. Now, while Denis um, Belisiev had a good showing in the short, I could not help but wonder why would Stefan Stefan um, Lambiel let that child go out in public looking like that? The man ponytail was a no for Jason. It's even more so for Dennis. Oh my God, I pray someone take that child to a barber at once because that hair was just, it was just messy and unkept. 
But otherwise, he had a beautiful showing here, landing all his jumps. The success story in the short program started with um, John Jun Wang Cha, who had my favorite short program at this event. That quad sao was beautiful. Oh, he's grown so much. I swear just the other day, Cha was 15 and on the junior circuit. Where did five years go? My baby Cha is all grown up in that beautiful short program. I hope he can like replicate this in the long program. Um, in second place, um, Daniel Grasso made the most of his home court advantage. With a clean quad, the judges were more than happy to help him out. I mean, I understand. Italy stepped in for China at the last minute, and if a few PC point is all they require in return, go ahead and let Daniel have his moment. And then we had Bo Ying Jang, who had been a hot mess and a half for the past two years. Even at the Asian Open in October, his jumps were still messy. Yet in less than a month, Bo Ying has somehow managed to get it together and land not only a quad lux triple toe, but also a quad toe. Boyan came to Italy and he was like, uh-uh, not today. Hopefully this will be the confident booster that he needs and he can carry it over to the long because two good clean program would really go a long way toward restoring um, the judge's belief in him. The men were all over the place, both good and bad. So now I really cannot wait to see what happens in the free and how it all plays out and who ends up where. Let me know, what do you think of how the men played out tonight? Who would you have put on the podium? Leave me a comment.